Here we're finding um, when the line and the quadratic meet here. So it gives the line in mx plus b format, x minus 1, right? y equals x minus 1. This means that b equals negative 1, and the slope is 1, right? So here's negative 1, and our slope just goes right up, 1 for 1 each time. So this is our line right here, and you can just, you would grab your ruler, of course, and just graph it. All right. Okay. Then label it. You want to keep track of these things. Y equals X minus 1. So, that looks terrible. Let me fix that. Y equals X minus 1. The quadratic itself um, here, it's, let's write it out, Y equals X squared plus 4X minus 5. We want to know when does this quadratic equal the line. Oops. Fix this. Sorry, plus 4x minus 5. So that means at some point this is going to equal the line, so we set them equal to each other. When does x minus 1, the line, equal x squared plus 4x minus 5? So it's generally a good idea to get everything to one side here. So minus x plus 1. And then this equals 0, right? Equals x squared plus 3x, and then negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. So now when we factor this, we're finding when these two things meet. So negative 4 and 3. What factors of negative 4 add to 3? Well, I know that um, positive 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and if I add them, I get positive 3. Sorry, this pen is not working right, very well right now. Okay, that equals 0. And then this means that x plus 4 could equal 0, so subtract 4 from both sides, x equals negative 4. And this means that x minus 1 could equal 0, add 1 to both sides, and x equals 1. These are the points where the line and the quadratic meet, except we don't have points yet, we just have x values. Plug those x values into your line, make your life easy, and find the points. So negative 4, the x value minus 1 is negative 5. So one of our meeting points is negative 4, negative 5. I'm going to mark that on here, 1, 2, 3, 4 down 5, that's one of our points. And you would label it too. Maybe choose a better color here. Okay, negative 4, negative 5. The other point is when x equals 1. So 1 minus 1, x minus 1 equals 0. The other point is 1, 0. So that's this point right here, our other meeting point, 1, 0. So we're almost done. Now, all we have to do is find the vertex of the quadratic. And that means, uh, what I would do is I would just um, find negative b over 2a, that's our axis of symmetry. b is 4, so negative b is negative 4, over 2 times a, a is 1, that's 2. So b equals negative 2. Um, sorry, b, not b. Negative b over 2a is negative 2. That means our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2. It's always give you that vertical line here. So at negative 2, right here, this line right, is our, our axis of symmetry, that's where the vertex of the quadratic is, and that's very useful with quadratic functions. So here it is, x equals negative 2. That's going to fold your parabola in half, so it's going to cross the vertex. So plug in negative 2 for x, and that's where your vertex will be. So here, negative 2 squared, x squared, that's 4, plus 4 times negative 2, so it's negative 8, minus 5. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4, minus 5 is negative 9. So our vertex is that, negative 2, negative 9. Negative 2, here's negative 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here's the point. Why do we do that? Well, to, to really get a sense of a quadratic, you just have to kind of um, get three points. And that's what we have now. So here's your quadratic, right? It's kind of connected to these points here. Curves down the vertex and folds back up here. And, you know, you can extend that. So here is our graph, um, and we found the answer when they meet, and we use the graph to support the algebra. On a calculator, you could just um, go to y equals and enter this in really quickly, and that's maybe how you do it. x minus 1, enter, and then the other one's x squared, get out of the exponent there, and then plus 4x, and then minus 5. I should have cleared it off first, sorry. Do it again. x squared, say plus 4x, and then minus 5. Enter. And graph. So here, you know, you see the graph of these two things. Oops. 
apologize. You see the graph, and if you press second trace and intersect, you can find when they meet. Um, so it asks you for the first curve, so the line, which is line is a curve, and then toggle over to the quadratic, second curve, enter, and it hits the intersection, one, zero, and do the same process, but scroll over in this area to get the other intersection point. All right, thanks.